Hello everyone and welcome to Vantage Corner. In today's video, we are going to configuring the Multi One on the failover mode with OpenWRT. So as you can see from this network topology, we have a primary internet provider and by default, all the traffic from our client and the router will be routed to this primary internet connection. So when this internet connection is down, either the interface physically down or the internet connection is not available, all the traffic will be fell over to this secondary internet connection. And here you have two different gateways. The primary internet provider gateway have the IP address of 10.0.1.1 and the secondary internet connection have the gateway at 192.168.9.1. So in the previous video, I have explained very detailed how to install the M1 Trees application as well as how to configure your LAN port at a one port. So you may check out the link on the video descriptions or on the notification on the top right corner. And in this video, we will just focus on the configuration on the Multi One application only. Let's jump right into it. And let me just log into our OpenWRT router management interface which is 192.168.1.1 and then let's navigate to network switch as you can see i have created another vlan which is vlan id3 for our secondary internet connection interface we have id number three the decryption is one b and the cpu Ethernet 0, the state is tech, and the LAN port 1 is untech. So my secondary internet connection is connected right onto the LAN port 1. So VLAN ID number 1 for your LAN connection for the LAN ports. VLAN ID number 2 for your primary internet connections. The one port is untech and the CPU port is tech. And the same for the VLAN ID 3. So the LAN 1 port is untag and the CPU port is tagged, right? So after that, go to network interfaces. We have two one interface, 1 and 1B. One so the first one interface have the IP address of 10.0.1.245. This is our primary internet connections. And the second one connection have the interface name is 1B. And it's had an IP address of 192.168.9.160. So there is one thing we need to pay attention to when create our network interfaces, which is the metric. The interface with lower metric will be used for the routing. Click edit. And here you can see on the advanced settings, we have the use gateway metric, which is 10. So the first one interface have the metric E10 and the second interface should have a metric higher than that so that the system will use the first interface at the default gateway where all the traffic will be routed to, right? So the second interface, it should be 20. Okay, so just two things. And once we're done, go to network and loss balancing. So yeah, before you do that, you need to install the tools application, which is M13. So you, sh you should install M13 and Lucy app M13 in order to configure the multi one via our Lucy, which is the web interface. So let's navigate to network, loss balancing. So after you have installed the application, there will be a lot of default interfaces, a lot of members, policy created for you. So you can just be confident and delete all of them. Now let's create our first multi one interface and I will put it at one A. No, I'm sorry, it's just one. All right, so the, the interface names in your multi one application and the interface name on the network should match each other else the multi one will not work, right? So click one add, and then we need to take on enable initial state online internet protocol IPv4. So tracking, uh, this will be 10a.a.a.a. So I will be using the Google public DNS server for that. A dot 
a.4.4 right tracking method ping of course we only have one ping and tracking reliability it will be one so if you put two the system will wait for the response from both of this ip before it say that the interface is online but in this case i will put one so that when the system receives the response from one of the ip address it will say that the interface of and the rest i will just leave it at a default mm -hmm. click self and apply after that click back to overview and create our secondary one connection which is one b click add all right click enable and initial state online ipv4 it will be the same a dot a dot a dot a dot a and a dot a dot four dot four right ping everything and devout save and apply once we done click back to overview as you can see the system had automatically picked up the metric value from the network interfaces and it said apply here so we have 10 and 20 and those with a lower metric will be used for the routing first after that go to members and the first one will be one member select your interface one metric one way one save and apply all right so this matrix is different from the the matrix on the network interfaces so be aware of that click back to overview and the second members will be 1b member Add. so before we continue let us talk a little bit more about the member matrix and weight so the members with a lower matrix will have a high precedence over the higher matrix member and the members with the same matrix will lost balance so lots balancing member will distribute lots based on the assigned weight of the member let's say we have the two member which is uh, we have the same metric one so it will be determined the priority based on the weight so in this case we have uh, configured our primary internet connection with the metric one and weight one and now we are going to configure our secondary internet connection at the failover so our secondary internet member should have a higher matrix and have a higher weight so the matrix will be two and the weight will be two click save and apply oh i'm sorry we forget to assign the interface so let's select the 1b and save and apply again after that back to overview okay so we have one member and one b member so the metric will be one and one and two and two let's go to the policy and i will just put one one two one b click add yeah you can type whatever and member use one and one b click save and apply all right click back to overview and the last one go to the rules and then on the https click edit and then the policy assign select one to one b save and apply and then back to overview and perform the same for the secondary default rule select one to one b okay
back to overview. I am not using IPv6, so I will not configuring it in here. But if you are running IPv6 on your network, you should create a network interface here with 1.6 and 1.b6, right? After that, you need to go to network loss balancing and create 1.6 here and 1.b6 here on the network interface. And you can assign them with the same matrix. I'm sorry, you need to assign them with a different matrix, right? After that, go to members and you should create four different members. So one member, one B member, one six member and one B six member. And those should have the, then the one and the one six should have the same matrix and weight and the same for one B and one B six. And after that, you just click on the policy and add all of the member into this policy, right? So after we done, we can go back to our interfaces and then restart the interface before we perform the test. So when I restart the interface, all the statistics will be reset to zero. As you can see, we have just reset everything back to zero and yeah, you see the packet count which is like 13. Let's go to status load balancing and see if the tools interface are off cool it's all off by default the network traffic will be routed to our one and let's just do some of the tests i will just open the cmd okay so i, I will do a trade route 1.1.1.1 one dot one dot one dot one. all right All right, cool. So it's go to one our our open WRT router, and after that, it is going to hmm. It take a little bit of time. Okay, after it reached our open WRT, the packet is routed to ten dot zero dot one dot one, which is the primary one connection. Let us just do another trade route. All right, good. And after that, the traffic is routed to our primary one connections, right? So let us just do some tests. So we just remove the network cable, just wait me for a while. Right, so I have just removed the network cable of the primary internet connection and let's go back to our status and check it. As you can see, the primary one is down, and let's us do another check and see if the system automatically fell over to the second internet connection or not. Look ray, so as you can see, the traffic has been routed to the secondary internet connection. Right. Let me just perform a speed test. Let's just cancel this. So as you can see, this is uh, the network provider from Max6 and this is our secondary internet connections. So let's check it out. Okay, let it just run. And now I will reconnect the primary internet connection to the router and see if the system automatically switch the traffic to the primary connection or not. I have just reconnect the network cable to the primary internet connections and let's see. Right, so the primary one is now off. And let's just perform another speed test and see if the traffic is routed to the primary connection. It's still max six, never mind. Let's do a tray route a dot a dot a dot a. a. 
Once the primary internet connection is up, the system automatically routed the traffic back to our primary internet connection, which is 10.0.1.1. I will be refreshing the page. And you can see the internet connection has changed to time, right? Let's just perform a speed test. All right, so that's all about the video. So we have successfully set up our multi one and the fail over mode. So when the network connection from the primary internet connection is down, all the traffic will be fail over to the secondary internet connection. So I hope it will be useful for you. And if you have any questions or any idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section. So I will try my best to assist. And as always, if you see the video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. And if you have any suggestion or how the next video should be, please leave a comment. Thank you.